What's up, y'all? It's a gum pencil on Pudi, and I'm back at it with another one. What is up you guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video we'll be doing hot takes. Guys please don't mind the lighting. Oh my word. The lighting looks so crazy right now. You know I've seen like some crazy hot takes you know. Some of these are like, are like, um, are like, you know the, 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 <laughs> yeah, English. Some of them are like, well what's the English word? <laughs> but some of them are classic, classic, classic hot takes. Let's get right into this first hot take. First, first hot take. Self driving cars are just robots trying to escape their digital prisons. I don't know. Oh, brother! I mean, technology is advancing. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! Something is going to develop. Some stuff are gonna, you know, level up. Like, I don't know what else to say about it, but like, yo, guys, this lighting, yo! And this is just like the first crazy thing we're going to experience. Period! The only reason we would be worried about self driving cars is when when technology or robots take over because imagine there when now you're you're sitting at the back seat and then the next thing you see your car going crazy the real reason for the metaverse is to hide all the weird internet stuff we've done but i don't even know what a metaverse is stop it get some help i don't know how weird because like bro <laughs> What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Weird inter- Bro, what? Fefe, whoa. I mean, the internet is already weird. I don't know how many stuff. How many stuff. Wait a minute. Hold on. Fuck. People can hide because like things are already weird at this point. Understand me? Things are already weird, alright? And things are just about to get weirder. Please commission One thing, eh? If, if, if there's any aliens out there listening or like watching this video, then please, you know, you know those movies where when there's like a group of teenagers and then the the, the alien approaches the, 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 the teenager? I wouldn't mind being that person that the alien approached because I would keep your secret. So if there's any aliens out there watching, listen, I will keep your secret. Like, it would be so cool like, doing, like, going to, like, a, a, a big field and you're testing out the aliens' powers over there and it's just that the alien becomes your best friend and, you know, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I feel like in, in movies like that, man, the, the one thing that always goes wrong, if one person manages to find out about your alien friend, I shame it's Chad. It's Dan, my guy, it's Dan. A lot more people are gonna find out and then the government comes in and you're broke. I know how those movies go, bro. So, I mean, if I, if I ever discover an alien or an alien approaches me, bro, best believe no one is gonna find out. I'm gonna keep that alien a secret and one shiver. We'll be as best of buddies. Anyways, the third one is cats are secretly plotting to take over the world by making humans allergic to them. First of all, I don't like cats. And I, oh. I don't like animals. No, that's very bad. Let me rewind that. Animals freak me out. Not saying I don't like animals. Animals freak me out. So especially cats bro like cats are weird man cats are such weird species like i mean like they just so to themselves like i don't get it and they just they just mind their own business and i'm like bro as much as you only need my attention and me please now give me attention as well like what's the point of me having you as a pet and you living as a life like you're only coming to me like you need that that doesn't make sense bro but like i don't see cats taking over in the room one thing that i see taking over ne, is is apes 
bro i've seen planet of the apes and bro <laughs> it's only a matter of time that those animals start to figure it out bro i feel like the world the world is about to get in is it, uh, the world is about to get crazy i love like the this dystopian type movies now when the world starts to crumble and everything goes to shambles and like people are trying to survive and fighting bro bro if the quiet place ever happens in real life yo just know bro I mean, i'm there to survive bro and plus I mean, I'm, I'm i'm already like i already have like an advantage because like i'm an introvert i'm already a quiet person it will just be a matter of surviving bro you see stuff like that dystopian zombie apocalypse like any a cup any apocalypse it is time I mean, I'm surviving, shame. Nah, yo, bro, I'm surviving. And apocalypse, I'm surviving, bro. I am surviving, without a doubt. Oh my word. Uh. Pineapple and pizza is a get. Eh? Pineapple on pizza is a gateway drug to more adventurous food combinations. You see me, ne? I love combining weird food, ne? I love combining foods, you know what I'm saying? But pineapple on pizza, like, what are we doing, guys? Grow up. Period. Period. Like, so stop trying to be healthy and unhealthy at the same time. Like, keep the healthy over there and the unhealthy over there. Like, stop trying to do something with it. Like, yo, guys, that's like putting apple on, apple on a burger or like, bro, like, what? Nah, like, we're skipping over that, no. Coffee is just glorified better water. Tea is the superior beverage. Honestly, I love both, bro. Like, I drink my green tea and I also drink coffee as well. So, but there's one thing. Oh shit, here we go again. If you are an apple juice lover, oh hell no! Orange juice is where is that? Apple juice. Mm. Mm. Apple juice is like it's, it's for it's for babies. It's for toddlers, man. Apple juice. Who drinks apple juice? <laughs> yeah. Who drinks apple juice? Yeah. Um, avocado toast is a Pre avocado toast is a pretentious meal for people who can't cook oh why do i feel like i'm being attacked <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i can cook but like bro avocado toast is is bro there are people out there who are eating breakfast for dinner guys like me Reality TV is a form of performance art that exposes the true nature of humanity. Well, you know English, ne? It's not bro. And I, bro, uh, like, say what you mean. But it's a performance art. Reality TV is a, is a form of performance art. Like, what do you mean? If you're saying reality TV is like, is, a, is like a thing to expose the nature of humanity, sure. I will say that like I prefer documentaries more to reality TV. I feel like reality TV is way more like staged. I feel like they just make things happen to make something interesting. I feel like in, in, in reality TV when they don't see something interesting happening, they're trying to make something happen. They, they're those dating shows, boo, boo, too hard to handle, Love Island, like and i understand that like, it's for like entertainment and all but reality tv i feel like it's not it's not reality if you're gonna fake something you know i mean i personally i prefer documentaries because they are more real and you get to see like the more in depth of the person you know conspiracy theories are just 
creative writing prompts gone gone wild another one bro like english like conspiracy theories are just creative for writing prompts gone wild bro i love a good conspiracy theory you know i mean conspiracy theories like are just there to like you know heighten our our imagination if you do not believe our aliens are real oh shit here we go again but now you're crazy when how can you think we're the only living things in this entire universe and i'm sure that we are aliens ourselves to those who are other aliens as well bro if i ever meet someone who doesn't believe in aliens you know you're very well bro i feel like you're too conformed in your own world like don't like whatever you see in front of you is what you believe yo that's so boring chen yo i believe it like bro i believe for like zombies like zombies can happen bro if something goes wrong at those size labs they have it to one who knows like i thought it could go wrong there and like toxic fumes can turn us into and then you know bro that thing is insane that can happen People who wear socks with sandals are secretly superheroes in disguise. You know what? I hear it, Shem. But like, they gotta be some dead superheroes, Shem. But yeah, guys, that's the last of the of the hot take. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, a share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, like. I'll be making more videos cause ish guys now I've been lacking I'm gonna try and make more videos and hopefully entertaining videos as well cause I'm not gonna put out content that I don't like you know what I'm saying but yeah that's the end of the video you guys bye